All right, chat, we are doing some more hacker replays today. Um, I just love decks, bro. I don't think there's going to be any new hacks like the Twitch minigun, but we should have some, hopefully, interesting ones today. I chose one in particular because in the text document that everyone submits, the person said, I don't know if they just shit on me or if they're hacking. So I guess we can find out. The ranked Oregon map, we have doing your moms, who's accusing Toby, Tobe.y. Which, before we start, actually, does anyone remember if this Toby guy has been in a hacker replay before? The name seems familiar. The name seems incredibly familiar. It's also a very simple name, like Tobe.y, like Toby. I feel like that type of name should be taken. It does feel weird having this audio because, like, I've been playing Battlefield for the last week or so. For a few days. That was zero recoil. I felt like absolutely no change in the recoil, but maybe I'm... I haven't been playing enough. Mmm... So that was the clip that he was just like, I don't know if I just got absolutely shit on or something. He does kind of like flick to him through the wall. Like right... When he flicks to him and then shoots him after. And it's not... Actually, did they call this out? No, that's not called out. Um, honestly, just looks like a good kill. His lack of recoil, though, is concerning. We'll see. And, like, just one kill is not enough to judge. I don't know what's happening with the Yana clone. It's bugged to shit. Did he get shot out there or something? Oh, pay attention to Ella's ammo. Oh, she did shoot and he shot immediately back. I saw nothing there, but maybe he could see a little bit of something. Hey, Josh. If he is a cheater, he doesn't know that Gon 6 doesn't actually give you increased movement speed. Only normal, like, single fire pistols do. We can hear the <laughs> the fucking warden just cycling through people. Like right there was a little bit weird. It looked like he was lining the guy's head up, but then we realized, oh, there's a barricade. Mm. I just love decks, bro. Thanks for the below sense play. Oh, he broke that. If he expects someone in meeting here. That would be pretty suspicious, especially since the guy looks like he's crouched, walking through. He doesn't. He walks past it, so that's good for Toby. That's the second time now where, like, the shots he takes, it's like he doesn't even see them. He starts, starts shooting immediately. I don't know. I would say that's really fast, the reaction. Like, maybe, I guess he might have been trying to pre-fire the pillar. I guess that could be a pre-fire. Seems like a weird pre-fire, but... The enemies those also don't seem that good, like with their strategies. They're basically castling up on site and sitting in corners. I feel like this is a difference. This could be like a good player playing in it, just a shitty lobby. It actually depends on how he plays this, like if he wins this. How did he even see that person? 
confuse me. Unless they have the zero cam. No. Well, actually, they have a drone. They have a drone here. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. No, I wouldn't be able to see there. So he shot at the castle without having any intel that he was there. And from what I can tell, maybe I'm missing something. It doesn't look like he can see him at all. I guess like right there, he's peeking. And he might have just realized that he was looking at him. I guess it's not too crazy. It was really hard to tell with the replay, but maybe in person it would have been easier to tell. I don't know. Rip thought you were streaming 2042 when we stream it. I mean, the beta's over, and the game doesn't release until November 12th for um, Ultimate Edition, so... Oh, November 12th. Okay. He switched off to Ash now instead of Yana. Have I been? I've been good. I felt a lot better after playing Battlefield instead of Siege all the time. Which I really do hope people in the Siege community give uh, Battlefield a try. I think the big issue right now is that a lot of people are just like, no, I will only play Siege and nothing but Siege. But like, Battlefield is actually so much fucking fun. Like, it was probably the most fun I've had in a shooter in a long time. They did see the Caden armory, so it's not crazy to think that he would just pre-fire. Kind of pre-fired at nothing, but... Oh. Seem like normal reaction, especially seeing as how the Mozzie kind of just like threw away <laughs> that free kill. That man just... Wait, how did he even get downed? Okay. Okay, Ash is jumping down to try to take out Kaden's classroom. He got walls and aimbot. This got me banned. Don't listen to him, guys. It's all a scam. Subs Darko and five months from Supreme Leader. Uh, what was I saying though? I think I was talking about Battlefield. Yeah, just not enough people are gonna give it a chance. That sucks, but it's actually such a fun game. And honestly, with how much fun I had, hold up. She was silent stepping through with that, wasn't she? How did he see this? I can't even see it. His scope is blocking it. Or, oh no, there he can, okay. Right there he saw it. That's fine. It's like she was silent stepping. I guess silent stepping and sprinting isn't the quietest, but you know, he definitely just saw her through that hole. Oh, uh, but yeah, Battlefield, great. Everyone should play it. Yeah, even if Battlefield doesn't do like crazy well on my channel, I think I'm still gonna primarily shift over to it just because um, I don't really care as much anymore and even like low income videos still make decent amount of money so I'd rather just have fun make less money at this point not worth it he's droning out everything or was at least so far he seems to play pretty normally the only round I'd say I was like suspicious of was in the first round which is exactly what the uh oh well, this guy Said he was suspicious, suspicious of. But now I think they're gonna be down zero to three. So, damn, two people already almost dead on the enemy team. One dead, one at one HP. Oof. So he dies here, but. When he strafes here, does he actually lock on? I can't tell. 
It looks like he does, but I think that was just coincidence. He lost that. Keeps losing to the guy who accused him. He killed him twice, now he got killed by him twice. What are these shields? These are bad shields. So when you aim at someone's head through the wall. I mean, one instance of it like that is not at all enough to claim someone's cheating. Especially when it wasn't even like locked on. It was kind of like just he kept aiming, unaiming, and then re-aiming, and then one happened to lock onto the head. It was more suspicious, I would, you know, say that. I actually did not know about this long angle. Apparently they know about it enough to shoot back at him. He is not holding this well at all. I feel like he should have been able to kill at least like two people there. Instead got nothing. That's the main stairs door that they're no longer holding. Was that even on his head? Didn't really look like it after the first shot. It was not on his head. How was that a headshot? That's like, his head was here. His shot is up here. Shotgun spread? Bro, it's a slug shotgun. It's, it doesn't have a spread. They're single bullets. Or slugs, rather, but... Could be just a... Uh... A replay bug, given that uh, everything's taken from the perspective of the guy who submitted it. I don't know what the fuck that C4 was. Which makes me feel like he can't be cheating, because if he was cheating, you would know how horrible of a C4 that was. He just whipped all those shots. What? I don't know what was worse, the fact that he threw that C4 and got a kill with it, or that the Maverick died to it. He was walling, he would have known that IQ was on the left. Alright, so far, I don't think there is any reason we should be saying that he's cheating other than like the one weird kill on Warden at the beginning. But we have to do our due diligence, right chat? We have to watch the entirety of the match, because what if he starts cheating in the last round? We always have to check. Oh, and he's using my Heidi spot, but with the M870? God, he, this guy, 100% not cheating. Anyone who hides in security with a shotgun, not a cheater. They would have called ones in meeting. He doesn't even look at meeting. He actually just almost dies to meeting. Maybe the teammate didn't call it. Monty's alone at the bottom of the stairs. One's up back stairs, one's above in meeting. Diffuser's down outside, by the way. about if you'd have another beta slash test or is it done till launch it's done till launch so unfortunately we have to just sit here and wait i have videos set up to come out every single week until the launch so if you want to see more battlefield i believe every monday i'll make a video maybe one week with two if i have enough footage but realistically i'll probably wait till launch to make more seemed fine he went back to the 416 and now is just prone, looking at his own penis while sitting in kid's room. Chat, if I can teach you anything, don't look at your dick in a kid's room. This guy is just like, you know what, gotta check for lumps, gotta check for anything. But then, he's gonna get that, uh, he's gonna be on that list, and will it be worth it? Probably not. But we're doing this for this week's video, and then also next week's video, because I'm gonna be on vacation, boys. I'm not gonna stream for a week. 
You guys are gonna miss me, right? Right? He does absolutely nothing this round. I'm gonna check, or I'm gonna get like the YouTube comments. I guess if you're watching this on YouTube, someone confirm whether Toby has been accused before or not. Because I swear Toby was accused. Or maybe I'll check. I should probably check because then if he is accused, I can be like, this person was accused before and just got accused again. Or like, this is the second time this player has been accused on Hacker Replay. I don't know, something like that. And uh, it'd be fun. We haven't planned anything or booked anything, so... We may be homeless when we get there. I think that was pretty standard. You could see the impact. And be like, oh, shit. Of course, he didn't turn sooner, honestly. Cali. God, no, I'm not going to the States anytime soon. Fuck that. I'm done with the States for a while. I'm, uh, I'm going to west coast of Canada because Canada, number one. States, just, states is too much of a hassle. Not worth anymore. Alright, so like, unless something crazy happens here, then this guy isn't cheating, because the round's almost over, and he hasn't really done anything insane. I thought he got the kill there. I was going to say, okay, that's cheating. Everything else seemed pretty normal when he kills Doc. Like, he peeks, sees him, flicks over, hits him once, and then flicks again. And then he kills the last guy, but I didn't get to really see it. Looks like he just runs over to white and holds it. But that was also the guy who was downstairs. Sure, a little bit weird, but everyone's going to have some weird plays every now and then. Silver, gold, plat, 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 gold. He got to plat one with 31 matches. He got 29 now. He's in gold. But I feel like ranked has been tougher this season. And also, it could depend. Um, I know a lot of people who have gone from playing with a full stack every night to never having anyone who wants to play with them because no one's really interested in Siege anymore. Okay, um, which should we do next? Yes, we have Entacted, who is accusing A81 with a bunch of numbers. Oh, they reported him immediately. Okay, so we know it's for sure. What? How do they know? Uh, I guess they saw the barricade break. But this guy is like straight up cheating. You can see him literally tracking them right there, but just random sprays and gets him. I assume he's gonna be this obvious every single time. Do you guys think he's cheating? I'm undecided right now. No, I think he's just got a good headset. I think he could hear the nook. The alibi's just gonna follow him around. Pure skill, legit pro skills. That's what I'm saying. He's <laughs> just staring at him. Okay, that guy is clearly following the cheater, but I don't think that he's with him because he just walked past the person the cheater was staring at. Oh, he doesn't have the uh, minus shotgun spread, where like you can basically snipe because all the pellets will be condensed. He just has straight up walls, and he's walling off his tits right now. I wonder how many people on the enemy team are being carried by this guy, like who are queued with him. Well, we obviously don't have to watch that much. So, he's been banned. It was an unranked match. General KD of 3.3. Queued with... 
Anyone we recognize? Mozzie. And Kaid. Fractal and Aaron 9. And Trippy Drew. So he was cute with them. And not with the Vigil. But as you can tell, he's mainly queuing with all like hoppers and silvers. People who are probably just like, this guy's amazing, let's queue with him. Well, obviously cheating on the A18 guy. My teammates, my teammate got banned for walling just because he sound horde frost in the next room over, and he got banned during our customs. Yeah, out of all the things that never happened, that never happened the most. Um, I actually have like you know talked to Ubisoft staff and people about this, and they will never ban someone for something that could be explained. I even reported someone where he very blatantly tracked my head through the wall on coastline, ran out, killed me, and they were like, we can't ban him just because the default camera is up. And it's possible that someone could have been on the camera and called out where you were. I was like, that sucks, but it also makes sense because, you know, if there's an excuse, they can't just assume you're cheating, so... Anyways, we are on Oregon, six round match. Big Lask is the one who's accused. So far, hasn't looked at anyone through a wall, so... So far looking okay. He's aiming at where his teammate is. Doesn't seem great. Hmm. If he was blatant, he could have shot Legion there, but he didn't, so. At the very least, not a blatant cheater. Oh my god. What is... How did this person get accused? You just saw the mozzie go through. And he didn't even get the kill. Droning, like setting up a drone during the prep phase is at least it looks better for him. <laughs> it's the Prisma. Huh. The ammo on the left side, which you guys can't really see because of my sponsor banner, his ammo is still at 21 even after taking a few shots, so... <sighs> would be a very interesting cheat, uh, never running out of ammo cheat, if that were a thing, but I assume it is just a match replay bug. Okay, this guy needs to do something here. Okay, he just reloaded and... Yeah, it's still not going down at all, but for other people it is. Which is the weird part. I guess we can keep track of that for the future, especially with assault rifles. What is that shield? It's just broken. So far he's just watching things that people aren't peeking, so that's better looking for him that he is not just staring where they are going to be. He's also just constantly pre-firing this one thing that's useless. Twitch is about to be flanked by the lesion. Or, yeah, by the lesion. He couldn't decide who to look at and he pushed them too far that they could both see him. Uh, we'll see. I, I, I'm more curious about the okay. ammo thing. I wonder if that's going to be just a visual bug or if he actually has some type of cheat. But it wouldn't make any sense because he kept reloading. Like, if you have a cheat where you have infinite ammo, why would you ever reload? He sets up his drone in the exact same spot. He has done that every single round. Yeah, the, the match replay is not going to be out of beta for a very long time. There are so many bugs, which is weird because... 
internally at Ubisoft. They've been using this for a long time because they, or maybe not like necessarily this, but the data that they use to make this, they've been using for a long time. Because I remember we, we talked about it with a dev at Invitational 2017, I believe it was. We were talking with a dev and we were talking about how we wanted some like replay system or a theater mode. And he's like, oh yeah, like I could definitely hack that together super quick. Like it would take five seconds. And then we're like, oh, and so yeah, they track, they've literally tracked all this data since the beginning of the game. So the data they use for match replay should be, you know, like it should work a lot better than it does basically is what I'm trying to say. Because I remember at the beginning of the game as well, they talked about when people were like, well, how do you know when someone's cheating or blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, we literally track everything. Like every step you take, every breath you take, every shot you make, they're watching you. They have everything. Also, I just noticed one of their teammates left. So now it's a 5v4 for the supposed cheater. Like, if he is cheating, why is he always watching things that just do not matter? Like, he was watching that this window for majority of the round. He always is watching the armory window as well on attack. Like, this dude just holds angles. You should know they are both towards here just because oh there's no idea the other guy's planting I feel like Thermite kind of fucked that up Thermite should have been able to win that yeah he fucked up that shot in the text document, they did say the last round is the most obvious, so I am very curious to see what is the most obvious. It's coming up on some people. Over by the hatch, he would have heard the jackal vault up there. He has no idea this person's behind the bench there. He heard them get off drone and panicked and ran away. If they were walling I would imagine they would like hold that bench or like be ready for it they did shoot in the general direction of it but again like you would hear them get off the drone on your left not know where they are freak out leave shoot in that general area that means they watch through these rounds to make sure or that they think they might be cheating not always a lot of people will submit matches just because they had one instance where someone was suspicious and they won't watch through the rest. Personally, if I ever want to accuse someone, I'll always watch through everything to make sure he gets droned out. I don't know if he was tap firing there or he had it on single fire only. It wasn't suspicious, was it? Sledge walked up way, stopped, crouched. He reacted, kind of late, and still won. I really want to know what he does here to make it so obvious, apparently. Is it just that he fights off hordes of people? That guy shoots at him, shoots back, misses. Jackal is just walking up, which would be making some noise. He did look at him through the bunk bed, but I mean, that's just... Yeah, actually, hold on. He does aim at the head through the wall. Oh. I like that the spark is in slow-mo when we're paused. That is pretty bad to be pre-firing through the bookshelf that's impenetrable at the thermite who's walking through a door. 
Granted, he did just get shot from there, so it could be like, hey, I killed the one guy. This guy's probably going to be pushing in. Let me pre-fire. And he happens to hit the headshot. If there's another suspicious play here with the twitch, then we'll know that something is up. He did pre-fire him, thinking he was going to push in. Dex, bro. Hmm. Fishes through the wall. <sighs> there, we can't say it was suspicious or anything, but I'm just noting that he shot through the wall and then immediately was like looking at the door through the wall, waiting for someone to shoot back, and then Twitch did. Here's the big thing if he rotates now, then that looks bad on him, because then that means he knows that he's clear. He doesn't rotate yet, and they're watching him on drone. Now if he rotates, it's fine, because he hasn't been peaked in a while. But I was going to say, if he rotates as the Twitch is rotating down, then he must know something. And he's just holding this. Like, this is honestly on par with what he's been doing the entire match. It's just that he normally doesn't have anyone push him. This time he did. He had three people push him, and he actually held them off successfully. Whereas in the other rounds, he'd be holding a random window and just not seeing anyone. Weird. Looking in the corner. I don't think he's cheating. Why is he holding upstairs so hard? I mean, that part doesn't really matter. He was going to do a run out on the balcony, and then they droned him out. And he's like, oh shit, there's drones. And they had people starting to push him, so... I don't know if I'd agree with him being a platinum player. But he doesn't really seem to play too much, and if he was a platinum player, he would basically be trolling around in gold ranks. So it's not crazy to think that the enemy team would just be bad in that situation. I don't think... I think the shot onto Thermite was weird, but this doesn't really scream as someone who cheats in the game. Someone who barely plays 10 placements a season. Honestly, probably just another player who's bored of Siege and left and then comes back once in a while to play, dicks on some kids, and leaves. We have breadsticks.exe who is accusing Jake9921TV. We rarely do quick matches. The only reason I chose this one is because it was five rounds and I thought it was going to be a ranked or unranked match. And, uh, turns out to be a quick match. What is he aiming at? He's aiming at the floor for everything and slowly moving his aim up. looks like someone who seems new at the game walking around just kind of doing like exploring the game but if it does super well then you know super sus he walks over Aims body level and just shoots the Thatcher who kind of runs into the shot. Moving on to round two. I want to see what this kid does to provoke the enemy team to accuse him of cheating. Because so far he looks like he's completely lost and brand new to the game. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong because I don't remember which document was for what, but I'm pretty sure the text document that was with this said he's a level 9. And I think that was part of the reason for accusing him. But he's just kind of following around his teammates and like aiming at random stuff like he's aiming at the floor for the most part. Hmm. This is not <laughs> seeming like a cheater, chat. But like if we watch this and we see him just pop off and just easily kill everyone like then you know you have a right to be suspicious because then you did literally nothing for the beginning of the game and now it's just gonna pop off maybe and they're also they're already up zero to two so this means that they lose the next two rounds and then win the last round 
Oh my god, this guy's... What? This guy is so lost. How did Oasis or JGG not get the kill here? Yikes. I mean, if we don't get the, the what's called, the clickbaity title we want at the beginning where it's like this is the second time they've been accused, then we might have a good title here. A level 9 brand new player got accused of cheating. And not even just like any level 9, like a bad level 9. This guy's looking outside, he's looking at his teammate, he has no idea, he's lost. Dude is lost, how did he get accused? Like, he's still just aiming at the floor for everything. I bet he just walks through this Aruni gate. He probably has no idea what it does. Oh, just kidding. He walks away. Doesn't. He had no idea about the mirror. By the way, that mirror was set up on a soft wall standing. Is this what I look like when I play uh, Siege on console? That was a not at all suspicious kill. He has no idea that someone's on top of server rack. He has no idea that you can even do that. He has no idea someone's in the corner now. He shot the bomb. Oh my god. He was right next to the mirror. The mirror just needed to look over. Actually, wait, how did he not die to the mirror there? He just didn't shoot. What rank is this copper five? It feels like it. This is definitely like new player uh, quick match. He had no idea that that would destroy his drone. He's checking every corner. He dies. Okay. This is the last round. He's still putting down bandits and it's a minute into the round. How, how did he get accused? Dex, bro. It is currently a 1v5. He didn't even get the last kill. What? I am confusion. Okay, I didn't see in the document. He also accuses Mini Diva on the enemy team. He says he toggled. He says the Jake guy toggled in the last round of border in the five v three. It's pretty suspect when Jake shoots at him through the wall. I did not see that. Oh, he accused that. The lion literally just killed his teammate in that room. Uh, that's gonna be a no from me. He is a level 12. 13 wins. Probably a lot of losses. He is bronze 5 in casual. And he has a 0 0.71 KD. A platinum person in silver. So definitely, you know, D ranking on purpose. Probably, well, they're playing casual, but probably just teaching their new friend how to play. <laughs> Um, so not cheating, just a new player who killed the person who just killed their friend. I, I don't know. This one, uh, on another Oregon map or match, we have flannel.daddy who's accusing sync QTA. The entire team is already dead. The reinforcing site a minute in. He did aim at that guy through the thing, but also like they just put down the reinforcement. And Melissa's putting it down. The lock onto him was pretty like specific, but here he doesn't even see this guy. Mm. 
my Love god. Dick. It's giving me nausea. Okay. Okay, 240. One's in classroom. Okay, well, they're making this match fast. They're just rushing every round, serpentining right now. All right, another round done. This is not even gonna feel like an overtime match. We're just gunning through these rounds. Chat, anyone else find that uh, quite peculiar? Honestly, I've never even seen that spawn kill before. Kind of like looking at him and then goes away. And looks at him again through the wall and looks away. Did he start blatantly cheating? I think he is cheating. I think he's walling. That did not look like a headshot. What is Ubisoft smoking right now? That was definitely not a headshot. Pre fire or like pre aim him. Yeah. I just love dicks. I think we can probably say he's cheating. No one's on cameras, no one's pinging him. He sucks though, dude. He is such a bad cheater. Okay, so he breaks the door, breaks the window. Standing outside. Gee. I wonder what he was doing there. Didn't quite show that as much. Down the Ying. Oh, there it is. Can't really dispute that. Especially when the Echo's looking at nothing. Even if he was on the drone looking over here, you can't see that. see that as well. So this is how bad of a cheater he is, so he goes to pre-fire this, hits the wall because he doesn't realize, and then when he starts running, he's like, oh shit, someone's right here, and gets ready to aim at him, and then gets killed from, I think, the thermite. Yeah, that was prone there. This guy's 100% cheating. So he has a general 0 0.89 KD, and yet this season he has a 1.82. Casual is a 2.37. Yeah, but like, look, 0 0.90, 1.081, like, I know these aren't too many matches sometimes here. 0 0.2, but then 2.37, 1.82. Like, he's a bad cheater. Don't know how you can have blatant walls like that and then lose. Alright, last match. Thunder Nova, who's accusing Estrada. If cheaters keep it up, then Siege will struggle to survive PC. I don't know what it is. I honestly, I am more in the line of that it's content. Like there's less happening. Because I'll quickly talk about it. On Twitter yesterday, Bolo posted asking why people are getting bored of Siege. Parker responded saying that he thinks toxicity is a key factor. I don't believe that's the case. Simply because I mentioned I think content is more of the factor. And he's like, well, you have games like CSGO and League of Legends where they barely get any updates or like any big game changing updates or content in a year. And yet they still are incredibly popular. Like, how do you explain that? I just love and then I say, well, if toxicity was an issue, CSGO and League of Legends would not be alive right now. They are probably, I would guess like two times as toxic as Siege. It's, it's horrible. Um, so it just doesn't make any sense to me that toxicity is the factor when there's so many worse toxic games out there. Um, personally, the reason why I think it's content versus toxicity is because every season we would have huge shifts in the meta, huge game-changing things, and now it's stagnating out. So the people who were playing Siege were playing it because there was so much content. They would always have something new to play. And then now there's nothing. Whereas with like League or uh, CSGO, CSGO especially, like people don't play it because of the content. They play it because it's CSGO. It's a standard game. League, um, I'm sure tapered off content over time. 
but it's like a very specific formula of a game that makes sense and like nothing really changes whereas siege was always changing always evolving and now it's not so that's my theory as to why people are leaving siege is just the content people who say toxicity is high in siege clearly haven't played dota 2 or basically any like moba mobas are just naturally toxic because it's like mobas are 100 percent a game where like you just cannot carry single-handedly Generally, at least. Depends on the enemies. But, like, in FPS, you can because you can just shoot everyone and kill them. MOBAs are just, like, there's so much more to them than rather just killing something that you can't just single-handedly carry a match. We'll back it up because we might already have some type of an answer here. Okay, so he brings his drone up the stairs, puts it in statue... Brings the drone way past. How does he know that Mute's already there? So, Mute is sprinting. It still seems weird. Like, even if you can hear him sprinting. No, he's not even sprinting there. He turns when Mute starts walking instead. Looks at him through the wall. And then... Like, here you'd be able to hear the gunshots. I guess well, we'll have to watch more obviously but there is a possibility that they were like oh I can hear them walking they're gonna go hold that door and then they swung to expect them on the door and then they were actually on the window and master instead ends up not getting that kill Mozzie's in the hallway if Sledge got off drones right now he could kill Mozzie immediately Mozzie's actually about to go to 90 and kill him So, weird first kill, but the uh, rest of the round didn't really say much. I don't know what this guy is doing. He droned that out. That was fine. I wouldn't consider that by any means suspicious. I hate that the Osa shield is glitched like that. Oh, it's, it's not even there on his screen. I was wondering why he just shot the shield. Kind of looked like he looked at him through the wall, but then when he swung, he didn't even know that he was there. So then he reacted to the Malusi swinging. He keeps droning in horrible spots. Like, what is this spot? Bro, if they swing the door, you're dead. Which Capcan was about to do, and still did. I'm already feeling like this is not a cheater. I feel like just like that one first round made it look suspicious, but it's not. Dude, this guy drones in the worst possible spots. He does not care for his own safety, which makes me feel like he's not cheating because if he was cheating or walling, he would know that someone's right there and he wouldn't drone right in front of them. He also missed them on the drone and the teammate killed them. And then he looked down at the body like, oh, oops. Don't believe this person's cheating. Keep sitting right above the Valkyrie and then not seeing her. Like right here. Oh. Yikes. Maybe the window's not as open as it looks, because I would not be watching my flank when the window's open like that. I wasn't sure if it was just like a replay bug where the camera's still there even though it's destroyed. So, the alibi is kind of like looking towards Astro stairs, and then makes the decision to rotate around even though no info is called, but are they going to go up Astro stairs? Or are they going to go piano where this person is underneath? Probably, you know. It's not crazy to do that based off calls. Like, maybe they're like, bucks below, bucks below. She's like, alright, I'll drop through the hatch and try to flank them. Right now, standing in the middle of a doorway where, like, if, the, some, if someone comes from statue behind, 
They are dead. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what they're trying to hold here. The Ash should be able to easily kill the Alibi here. Yep. We'll skip forward, because... Oh, and then he tries to spawn peek the one who accused them again. As the kids would say, doesn't seem out of pocket. I still don't really understand what that means, but I, th I think it means, like, you know, out of the ordinary, maybe? Or strange? I don't know, something like that. He's dead. Again. <laughs> oh, they just moved away as soon as the person was about to peek. Fuse. I... I'm almost willing to... Oh. Listen, I'm almost willing to just skip ahead to the end and see what they do, but... I honestly think it was just the very first round of why they were accused. Person very loudly breaks the window. Somehow survives that C4 taking zero damage. The fuse is still above them, directly above them. Rough aim. Not really crazy there, though. He's walked into sight. He's now 10 HP. Time ran out. Must have been the first round, unless something crazy happens here. The buck is literally right below there. He he looked away as the buck would have been visible. Like, look. Love decks, bro. The buck's here. You can see his gun technically right here, I think. Like a little dot of it. But Cade could have got a free kill there, but instead looked away. I don't think this person's cheating unless they do something crazy in the next round. Killing a buck through the floor is basically standard protocol, because the buck will always be distracted looking through the floor, and then you can get a, an angle on them. Walking away there. He reacted to the gunshot. Alright, last round. Let's find out if anything happens. Is Estrada a word? It sounds Spanish, but I don't know. But it sounds familiar. I feel like I've I've heard Estrada before. Maybe there's a pro player who goes by a very similar name. A beer? Is it a beer? Estrada? Estrada, the beer of summer. Always the summertime. I had a... Uh, Commercial will always live rent free in my head. A Jays player, maybe that's where I heard it because my friends are all Jays fans, so I probably heard it from that. Estrada, the player of the summer, always the summertime. Yeah, Eric Estrada, that that does sound familiar. Annie's uh, friend was just here. Oh, he just looked away as soon as the person peeked. Was just here because we celebrated Annie's birthday yesterday, and um, she's a huge Jays fan. And I was like, oh, I was like, how do you feel about the Jays this season? Like, do you think they can make it? And then they just all look at me. I'm like, what? And like, the Jays season literally just ended, and they did not make it. I was like, oh, I did not know. This guy's timing for, like, just barely missing enemies is phenomenal. Estrada. Very standard 
Silver, gold, plot, 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 plot. Similar KD each season. Lots of matches played. 689. The last time I played nearly that many matches was in Grim Sky. I used to play almost 600 matches a season. Back when I used to make bank off Siege. And then now I play like... Look at, look at how fast it dropped as well. 500, 300, 300, 80, 30, 47, 29. I played a lot of ranked this season that I got my charm and then... As the seasons went on, I was like, yep, I'm done. Definitely not a cheater. Um, don't know... I guess like just the first round was enough to get them to accuse, so... But that's going to be it for the first half. Now we're going to move into the second half.